Mr. Randy Duck and welcome back for another video and today we have two replays to show you in the tier 10 American premium heavy tank the MBTB. Now this tank has recently had a buff and what I'm going to do is just go over the changes and then we'll get into the two replays I've got to show you today. So what have they done then? So they have um, improved the shot dispersion penalty during movement or, and rotation from 0 0.17 to 0 0.15. They then increased the uh, terra terrain resistance or reduced the terrain resistance from 1.3 on firm to 1.1 and 1.4 medium to 1.3. So a slight uh, change there just increases the mobility over terrain. They then have given this a buff to the reload. So it's gone from 10.9 seconds to 9.9 seconds based reload. And then also increased the alpha damage on from 420 to 430. And on the HE, 515 to 540. But then also increased or improved the aim time from 2.3 to now 2. And the shot dispersion during the turret rotation from 0 0.1 to 0 0.08. As well as increasing the view range from 400 to 420. So it's had quite a significant buff this tank. I think this one did need it because when it came out it was a little bit myrrh to be honest. It was sort of like okay but it's like you might as well play the Valor or something like that. But with these changes, do you know what? This is actually a pretty decent little uh, med um, heavy tank now. So that's enough of me rambling on. Let's go on to the replays and we see how this is, what this is, has done to the tank. Okay, so here we are for the first replay then on Cliff Encounter Battle. Now, if you want to see the equipment and crew setup I'm running this tank, you will see that at the bottom of the screen as I speak. Now, there is one enemy artillery to deal with and one enemy light tank. And initially, we're going to go to the sort of ridge in the middle where we can use a good gun depression, which this tank has, and sort of somewhat decent turret armor as well, and try and go hold down and see if we can get any early shots in, and just you know just find out where the enemy are playing. Quite often on cliff, to be honest, you'll find a lot of your tanks will just sort of sit on the one-two line, um, and it can just get a little bit of a bore. But looking at this so far, it looks like we actually do have um, some tanks actually coming with us. And some of the enemy tanks are pushed up as well. So we might be able to get into a little bit of a fight. We do have hill control. So I don't have to worry about getting hit from the hill. And also I know I've got those covering shots on the hill as well, which is always useful. Uh, we're going to push up this position, see if we can get any shots in by using our gun depression here. Um, and just got to be a little bit careful though, because obviously the tanks in the base can shoot you from here. As well as the enemy artillery, as you can see, is already trying to put a shot into us. So, got to be particularly careful of that. Now, looking at the mini-map, I can see that a lot, um, well, at least two tanks have pushed into the bowl. Um, and I'm thinking about going over there, actually, and just getting into the fight. Because um, I know I have hill control, so like if they try and pop out, they're going to get shot from the hill as well. Um, so I'm thinking, let's just go in there and maybe we can get some damage um, from from the bow area. Because uh, I think there's at least two tanks in there now, and I can try and lean down on them with my gun depression and get some shots in. Uh, we do try and put a shot into that tank destroyer behind us on the move. We do get detected, but I think it'll be okay. I'll be around in cover before he can shoot me. Or oh, it did come pretty close, but we got in there about losing any hit points. And now I'm just going to try and bully these tanks in the low ground. So this poor little uh, medium tank here, I should be able to um, take care of them pretty quickly with my 430 uh, alpha of this tank, which now has. And we're going to see if we can try and take them up. There is an enemy Death Star though, and that is something I'm very scared of because I don't want to lose all my hit points. Artillery is also focusing us, so this is not ideal. Try and track the Death Star in place. I want to slow him down. He is now a two shot to us. Um, I'm really hoping I can just get another track shot in, to be honest, to try and slow him down. Put one into the lower plate. Hopefully we can load before we can absolutely slap us. I think that's okay. We should be able to. We put a shot into medium as trying to flank us. Important to put him onto a one shot as well. But now I'm fired. The Death Star is coming to look for a shot into us. But he can't quite get over that ridge before I'm reloaded. And I should be able to put that shot in before he's actually able to get his gun down and put the shot into me. And that is what happens. And we managed to take out those two tanks from the bowl. 
Putting ourselves onto 2,600 damage, taking care of two enemy tanks, picking up two kills. And it's now a 14 versus 11. We're going to try and take care of this enemy German tank destroyer. We can quite easily go through the turret armour uh, of that tank if we hit the right spot. So it's not it's just a new German tank destroyer. But the armour's not great when you know where to actually shoot. It's now a 13 versus 10. I was still wary of the artillery, but looking at the control of the map, you can see we've pretty much taken everywhere. Enemy tanks is going to be pushed into the base, but we're now getting um, pushed by this enemy tusk. I don't want him to get behind me. Uh, I don't want to get a big derp shot, but as long as I can keep my rear to the wall, yeah, the worst he can do is, is, is splash me. But he actually doesn't splash me for very much. He gets absorbed in the tracks. And now I think I'll be able to kill him before he's even reloaded to get uh, in time to get that shot into me. He's trying to get behind me, but he's stuck in the open. We pick up our third kill, putting us into just over, well, to about 4,400 damage now with a tiny bit of assistance. And like I said, this map to me is one because the enemy team have no control. Like we have everywhere at this point. We're outnumbered them. They're stuck in the base. It's all about how much damage can we get out of this game before it you know, comes to an end. Because it is going to come to an end pretty quickly. Um, the enemy team are going to get shot by multiple angles. We pick up our fourth kill, put us into just shy of 5,000 damage now. Seeing if we can lean over and get a shot into that waffle, which we do. Picking up a little bit more damage, bringing us over the 5k mark. And now we're very healthy, to be honest with you, but everything is kind of down in the low ground. We can't get shots into them. Managed to sneak one into the waffle. Hope we're trying to lean over and get some shots into this badger here. We might even be able to just go through the drive wall, keep him tracked in place there, which we do. We're picking up a bit of track assistance uh, reward for that. And then we should be able to finish him off by going through that lower plate. Enemy artillery is trying to shoot us. We know exactly where the artillery is. It's going to be in that corner. Um, and we're just, you know, we're thinking, can we just get down here and get some shots? At this point, this game's won, so I'm just going to take the risk and try and jump off this cliff to see if we can get any more kills. Because you can see we're on five kills and we're on for the top gun. Mm, is this going to work? Am I just going to get destroyed? We'll find out. Uh, we slide off. Do a little roly-poly here, and can we get back to our feet? Uh, yes, we can. So, yeah, we made it down there. Lost no damage for it, so <laughs> it all worked out well. Uh, but it looks like we missed our chance to get any more damage. We're just seeing, you know, we know where the artillery is. Can we find him, pick up the top gun? That's what we're looking for. Uh, he's going to be in this corner. He gets spotted, and we just squeeze in the shot, picking up the sixth kill there, bringing us an end. To replay number one but with one more replay to come let's see how we got on we got six kills six thousand damage two thousand four hundred assistance confirming the ace tanker there and the high caliber and the medal for killing the enemy artillery and that is it for replay number one but let's move on to replay number two Okay, so here we are for the final replay then on province where we have one enemy artillery again and one enemy light tank so Fairly balanced um, sort of spread out of tanks, which is quite nice. I'm not a massive fan on Province. It is team destruction, so we don't have to worry about getting capped out. Although that's never normally a problem on this map. Now, what we're going to do is just drive straight across to the other side. Hopefully we can get over there and try and spot some tanks up. Because I don't like really fighting on the other side for, on this spawn. Just because you get you just sniped from all the tanks just sitting there in the base. So it's, I don't think this is a great map, if I'm honest, you know, especially for tier 10s, I don't think it's great. But you know, it's what we've got to deal with, so we're going to push forward. Now, we have lost a little bit of uh, damage at the start, but we easily traded that out for that 1,000 spotting assistance we managed to get. So it's all worked out okay, and we are just going to continue pushing, because I want to get up to the top and spot everything. Now, I am going to risk getting shot on the cross here, but I feel like speed is, is going to be the key, really, just to minimise the damage I take. Um, I could wait to get unlit here, but I am taking a risk because I want to get there quickly so I can catch these tanks out. That's why I wanted to get there quickly, is to spot these tanks in bad positions. Um, and we've sort of reaped a reward for that because we've ended up, that cram valve got tracked and destroyed by the Fosh. And now we've got to where we wanted to play. From here, I can just keep everything spotted and make it so they don't have a fun time just being able to sit there and snipe for free undetected. And I know I have an artillery in the game, and I've pretty much got to this position now. I can't really push up and fight in that position because I'm going to get shot from the tanks on the other side of the ridge. Or what I can do, the best thing I can do is 
keep them detected and hope that they will you know, push us. Because if they push us, it's kind of exactly what I want. Because I can pull down, go hold down, and then as they push us, they get shot by all my tanks in the back. So, and I'll pick up more assistance. So that is what I want. Enemy artillery is looking at us, but I don't think he actually has a very good shot at us here when I'm behind the rock. I think he's just leaving his... Um, Sort of aimer over us, um, so we you know, you know, maybe try and move. Try and get a cheeky shot into this Lehman Russ crossing on the other side. We're looking for some shots where we possibly can, and just keeping this rock here close to us, so that's really our support to stop anything from being able to shoot us. And I'm just going to poke up here, and just again, just try and light stuff. Now we have an enemy Avery coming for us. Now obviously I don't want really to get full, full pen by this tank, but we do track him in uh, the open and we should pick up some assistance. Unfortunately stuff is bouncing us. They obviously don't have a great shot at this tank at the moment. But if he comes over for us, I mean, we may get full pen by the Avery. Um, not a lot we can do about that, but he will definitely eat a lot of damage in order to push me. Because look at all those tanks behind us at sort of um, C sort of 7 area. They will be able to shoot this tank if he crosses. And we're starting to pick up some assistance, whether that's from the artillery, I'm not sure. Avery is moving in on us. We put a nice shot in and he loses pretty much his tank for that. Um, we do pick up more assistance there and we put him onto a one shot, which is, which is important. Avery gets shut down by our friendly gorilla. Um, that's good because we don't have to worry about that now. Uh, just trying to keep this enemy ruthless detected. Obviously, again, ruthless, a bit of a threat in the fact that he can do a lot of damage in uh, one shot where well, we could potentially one shot us or something if he sets us on fire get a nice shot into the ruthless through his drive wheel he's turning to try and shoot us so i'm going to back up now we picked up sort of well 5,000 assistance now because that ruthless gets absolutely slapped by our friendly f3005 enemy rogo dawn on the other side is looking to shoot us so we're just going to try and keep this rock kind of reversing up so we can pull back and just keep our turret armor there um, and just see if we can get any shots into this tank. Going to look to try and squeeze one in here. We, you know, it's a difficult pen. We have got the heat, so also we don't lose any um, penetration over distance. But it's just not. It's a bit of an awkward shot. So very, very close game. Nine versus nine. We don't really, not really picked up a lot of damage to be honest, uh, but we have managed to pick up um, quite a bit of assistance. We do get a blind shot there into, I think, through his gun. Into, and, and we're going to see if we can get another shot. You can see he's still there. Um, he's still trying to blind fire us as well. So we've got to be careful because he probably will hit, well, he will hit harder than us if he hits us. Trying to get a shot in. So we've got to be patient. Uh, in a game like Providence, you can throw your tank very quickly by like pushing up on that ridge and again getting shot from the other side. So. I am trying to be careful and just take my time because I'm not under no real threat. You know, it's team team disruption, so there's no time threat, as you should say. Uh, we get a lovely shot into that tusk, though, finishing them off, picking up our first kill of the game, putting us onto about 2,000 damage now with the 5,000 assistance we already have. And there's still lots of opportunity left in this game to pick up a little bit more damage and more assistance. So just trying to help out our tanks over there. You can see I was using a small mini map. That's because I know where the tanks are on the other side. What I want to know is if tanks like this are going to come up behind us. Um, and I want to know those small movements because it's going to be important. F3005 is a problem. Again, it can take a lot of hit points. But he has no armour. Now he should lose his tank for this for sure. Uh, but is he going to pen us? And he does. Puts us on to a uh, one shot. He doesn't really get shot. And now I get full sent by the Fosh. And I'm, to be honest, I think it's game over at this point. I'm just trying to face hug him. Hope he doesn't pen us. He is now getting shot by our friendly team. Somehow he bounces. I'm thinking, well, I'm definitely dead though by the FB 1005. Doing all I can to make him bounce. And he does bounce. He uses AP and bounces off us. And I get very fortunate to be alive in this game. He's got full sent by the FB 1005 and the Fosh. But they both got taken out and it's all worked out okay. I'm on 700 hit points, but I've now got 6,000 assistance damage. Um, sorry, 6,000 assistance and I think 4,000 damage now. So we've got a 10k combined game, having a, a nice game. There's still more out there for us and we're actually losing. It's four versus five. So I've got to be very, very careful. Uh, you know, I've pretty much been in this position the entirety of the game. Um, but it's, like I say, Promise is one of those ones where I can't, you have to be careful. I can't just drive up on that ridge and get shot by everything. Now I've got kind of a lot of obstacles to get past. You can see 
tanks are trying to blind fire me. They, they know where we where we are. Um, I'm just seeing what I can do. I want to I want to try and go over the other side and finish over the other tanks, but I'm also that sort of low hit points that I don't want to throw this game away because it's a potential to have a lot more out of this game. You know, the artillery probably still full health, so that's you know, at least another sort of 1,300 odd um, damage potential there or or assistance potential. And I'm down to sort of two tank destroyers and one enemy artillery. So I'm trying to decide what's best to do. Just seeing, I want to try and actually get out of this location now. I've decided to move back, but I wanted to just make sure I was, I was driving slowly because if I get spotted here, I don't want to get taken out in the open. Uh, moving an enemy medium tank was coming for us. So I'm going to see if we can try and come around and see if we can take care of this tank, see if we can kill the medium tank and then push up and maybe we can take care of the enemy artillery or any tanks which might be in sort of J12 uh, area. Um, and that's, like, yeah, that is my plan at this stage. So we're moving around again. We've got one artillery to deal with and yeah, is it two, oh yeah, three mediums? No, one heavy and two mediums. So this enemy tank over here is a one shot, which is nice, and he gets shut down by our friendly FB-1005, bringing us into a four versus three. And we're now making our advance. We know, well, we've got a good sense that the artillery is probably in the corner at the sort of J2 area. Maybe I can get round there and take out that enemy artillery and go from there, really. At this stage of the game, we're winning because it's team destruction, so if it ends... Now we will win just because we've killed the more tanks than the enemy. Uh, but with six minutes to go, there's a long way to go and we're hoping to be able to kill the remaining three tanks and pick up as much as, as we can really. Either pick up more in assistance or more in damage, whatever you know is, is the easiest to get. So we've been very, very close and you know, careful around here just because I know if I get spotted I could get shot by the other side of the map. That's why I'm using, you see these buildings here, which keep me covered. Um, and at this point, I just want, you see our TD behind us. I want him to come closer, because you can see I've got to hear about getting detected. I want him to be closer, because if I spot this artillery in the open, I want him to be able to get slapped by the TD behind us. Because um, I also don't want to get shot the shotgun. Now, I know the artillery, well, I, I got a good feeling the artillery is around this corner here. I'm trying to hug the map so I can get this rock. So if I get spotted, I can use a rock as cover from the other side of the map r3 shoots at this enemy artillery we're still not detected we are going to get spotted when we poke this corner unfortunately for us that shot just i don't really know where that shot went which is a bit unlucky because that would have put the artillery on a one shot artillery then tries to take us out he splashes us we get lucky he doesn't finish us off with one hit but this is awkward because I'd, i'm just scared about also i know the artillery is going to reload i can poke and get a shot into him I was just worried about getting shot from the other side of the map. That was my biggest concern. Um, you know, because it is like that on Province. But at this point, the artillery is probably getting close to re being reloaded now, uh, and this is a bit awkward because I don't want to get shotgunned. Our friendly artillery misses him. I'm going to poke up to try and get the shot, but it gets shut down by our friendly FB 1005. And there is only two tanks remaining now, so we're just going to move in. And just try, once we've lost our spot, go in and just try and pick up the damage. We know where they are, well, we know at least one of them was because it just get detected. Whether we can get there in time to pick up any more out of this game, um, yeah, we'll find out. I'm not so sure. So we're moving over, just being very careful because we're on 300 hit points at this point. So we don't want to get taken out and throw the game away because it's, you know, four versus two. It's still one of those games where it is, in fact, losable. Um, now it is a. Four versus one, we should be okay. Now our friendly tank is going up to fight this Rogal Dawn. Now I'm thinking, I don't think I'll actually get there in time to kill him. I think my best bet is actually just to actually cover our TD now. And if the Rogal Dawn comes to kill our tank destroyer, I'll then have the ability to shoot him and cover him. So that that's my point. I want to help out our TD, but I'm thinking the best thing for me to do is just hopefully bait this Rogal Dawn down. But he seems to be doing a good job of not accepting the bait. He's not actually coming around to corner, you know, to shoot this Fosh. The Fosh is unfortunately now got put on uh, a one shot, I believe, and I wasn't able to help him because he didn't push around. Like, I wanted to help him. I was just hoping he was going to push around that corner, uh, but that hasn't been the case. And now I'm thinking, well, I'm just going to come in. Then I'm going to have to go in. So I'm letting the Fosh know that I am on my way. But it looked again like he was going to poke around, and he hasn't. Cause 
It's always one of those situations where if I just went up straight away, you know the road girl dawn would have just drove in the open and I was like, oh, I could have shot that tank. But that's not how it's been. But still, we've got to be careful. I don't want to throw away this game. But I'm moving in to try and help our um, enemy Fosh. I've let him, friendly Fosh, I should say. I've let him know that I'm coming to help him. And, yeah, together we'll be able to take care of this tank, no problem. Even though we are both one shot so and we still have the friendly artillery with us as well. So the Rogadon is going to be in a lot of pressure. So you see, again, I'm just letting him know what I'm coming. I am coming to help. Uh, I will be there shortly, or I'll be there as quickly as I possibly can. Uh, but I've got a feeling he may potentially get taken out before I get there. I'm just hoping that he doesn't kill our TD, because I don't want to have to fight this tank in a 1v1 when I'm on a one-shot if I don't have to. Uh, but he gets shut down by our friendly FE-1005. And that brings us an end to the video. So how do we finish that one off? We finished off with two kills, 4,300 damage, 6,500 assistance, so 10k combined. It's only first class mainly because assistance really doesn't give you a lot to go in towards your, um, your, your marks there, uh, so you're right to your mastery, sorry. But that is it for the replay, so thank you so much for your amazing support, and as always, happy tanking. Oh, get